In this module, we'll look at some Azure cost management tools. We'll look at uh, purchasing reserved instances to drive down your private cloud cost, and we'll look at setting up uh, budgets to monitor spend. All right, so from our Azure portal, we're gonna go to the search bar and type in reservations. Okay, in our account, we have no reservations yet, so we're gonna purchase some new ones. And we're gonna select the Azure VMware solution type. We have a couple of different ways that we can consume these. Uh, we can pay up front for one year, we can pay monthly for one year, we can pay up front for three years, or pay up front or uh, pay monthly for three years. We're gonna go with uh, one year monthly for a reservation. And it's gonna tell us that by doing this, we'll get a 26% estimated savings. Not too bad. We'll add that to the cart. Uh, we can select how many nodes we wanna purchase the reservation for. We have three deployed, so we'll stick with just three. And click through to review and buy. Uh, confirming that we will be charged, that's cool. Someone else pays for this anyway. There we go, we've purchased reserved instances. We go to browse, we can see the reservation here in active. And we'll go through some of the configuration options here. Configuration, we have a scope. A uh, scope by default is just shared. Um, and this means that you may have multiple resource types or resources in the subscription that this might apply to. This is going to um, apply to any eligible objects. Um, that's the way our account owner has asked us to create these, so that's how we'll do it. Um, we can scope this down more narrowly. We can say this reservation will only apply to AVS nodes deployed in our subscription, or we can say it will only, only apply to AVS nodes within a specific resource group that we choose. But again, um, our organization likes us to use shared, so that's what we're going to do. We have options for setting renewal. Um, we're not gonna automatically renew this, but you could if you'd like to, you simply check that box and it's safe. And here we can see the um, other properties of a reservation uh, effective date, when it was created, when it was last updated, when it will expire. So we'll go back to the main portal here. Uh, we've created our reservations. Now let's create a bu uh, budget for the subscription. So go to the search bar, type in cost, cost management and billing. And budgets. You'll see when you do this, and I created out here, it will scope it to a sp the specific user you've logged into. So this will be budgets for me. Um, I don't want to set a budget for me. I want to set a budget for the subscription. So I'm going to change that scope. Go to my root management group and select the subscription that I care about. Select the subscription. Great, now I'm looking at budgets for my subscription. And I'm gonna create a new budget here. I'll give it a name like VMworld demo budget. Uh, reset monthly, here's what it's created, there's an expired, that all looks good. Scroll down, we'll give it a budget amount. We know that our node cost here is, a, is around 13,000 per month. So we'll set the budget to 15, just to allow us a little bit of breathing room for other um, environments we might need to spin up. Now we'll set some alerts. So the alert condition is gonna be based on our actual usage. So it's at 95% of the budget. And we'll have it send an email to our shared group, which is this one here. Uh, email us if you want, we'd love to hear from you. Don't sign us up for like mailing lists though, that'd be that'd be weird. Um, and language preference default, that looks good. We'll hit create. Great, now we have a budget and when we hit that 95% consumption, we will get an email. All right, to recap in that demo, we went over purchasing reserved instances and creating uh, a budget and alerts. In our next demo, we're going to go through configuring Azure policy tags and resource locks. Thank you.